Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. What you're looking at here is a weld together kit from Rogue Fabrication. And this is their tubing bender. And uh, anybody that needs to do some tube bending or anything like that, uh, I'm going to show you how to put this kit together and show you how this bender operates. Uh, it comes with some good instructions here and we'll follow those instructions along and I'll show you how we weld this together and this is the um, XHD the model 600 XHD this is their heaviest duty model and um, <clears throat> I think you guys if anybody's in the market for a tube bender I think you'll be happy with the price and the bending capacity um, uh, this will do uh, I believe two inch solid um, bar and uh, they've got dies you can see the I've got a two inch die with this one I've got a lot of two inch bending to do coming up uh, but they've got a whole assortment of dies round and square and um, you can check them out online and I'm gonna get set up here and we'll follow those directions along and um, we'll get this thing together and I'll show you how it works Okay, let me get the camera set up and some parts lined up and we'll start tacking things together. Be right back with you. Okay, we're going to get all our pieces fit here. And the quality of the laser cutting here is, uh, is very nice. Everything fits together great. So we've got our, our cylinder support here and our side rails. going to slide together. Right here is a couple notches and the end of these you want to fit in there and that locates those. And everything sits down nice. You make your edges flush here and then we'll get everything tack welded together. I think we'll hit this with the TIG welder to keep the welds nice and neat and um, you got little areas here you can you can weld in and you're going to tack these areas here and uh, we're just going to tack everything together right now and we'll come back and fully weld everything once everything's done so let me get this tacked up and then we'll flip it over and there's some pieces that go underneath and we'll move on to that next okay we've got it tacked and we flip it over and this is your uh, lower brace Put that up against your cylinder supports and get that tacked in and then we'll flip it over and we'll put our front brace in next. So uh, I'll show you the, uh, the welding details in a little bit but for right now we're just going to get the whole thing tacked up. So uh, let me get that tacked in and the, um, the front brace tacked in and, uh, and then we'll get to some uh, TIG welding shots. Okay, I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, we've got everything tacked up together. We've got our bottom. We've got our bottom brace in and the front brace. And it's just a few tacks on that right now. And when you're putting it together, make sure you get everything in there nice and square. Check it as you go. Uh, make sure your guys back here are square and everything fits flush to the edges. Your tabs come up through right there. And uh, we're going to put a few welds along the edge on each side. And uh, I'll try and get you some clear take shots and me welding that together.
Okay, we've got a few welds on our base. And what you want to do when you're welding your base is jump around uh, side to side in different parts so you don't overheat anything and warp anything. These are the uprights. And obviously these will go in square. But on this hole and this hole, this is the uh, heavy duty model so it's got a bigger pin. It's got a 7 8 pin. And you need to weld a washer on each side of this. So to make it easier, we'll do that first. I've got two 7 8 washers that came with the kit. And we'll take these out. And we'll put one washer over each hole. And when we TIG weld these, we'll keep the TIG weld lower than the washer. Uh, that way we don't have to grind it or anything. But we'll just we'll put little welds in four places on here to hold that washer in. And uh, I'll get that done and we'll start putting them in the base plate. Okay, we got our washers. A little stitch welded in four places on both sides. Make sure you orient this stuff correctly and you don't put them both on the same side and, and, and do it wrong. They need to be on the inside. So we'll get them. Okay, they fit right in the laser cuts on the base. Now obviously everything's got to be square when we put it together and to keep everything lined up we're going to get the pin through it it's still a little warm we'll put a couple pins through to keep everything lined up and then square it up and we'll tack these in Okay, we've got three pins in. We've got our big wide base square on there, so it stands up nice. And what we're going to do is tack this one in nice and square. Make sure everything is lined up right. The pins are sliding in and out even. And uh, then we'll go over and get the other side tack welded in. So we'll do one side at a time. Okay, we've got both of our uprights tacked. And when you have these perfectly square, and you, and you used your pins for lineup, they should slide in and out perfectly like this. You want to get you want to get that perfectly square, otherwise you'll have trouble putting your pins in. So we'll fully weld this later, but for now we've got a tack right here. We've got one back here. They're standing upright, they're solid. And we can remove our pins now. Okay, the next thing to go in on your bending wheel here are your sticker protection pieces of steel. And here's your, your bend degree sticker. And that'll go on after you paint it. But that's going to go on the outside of those, so you don't want to put any weld in there. They're going to line up with these slots on each side. And we'll just tack a few welds along this area. Just enough to hold those. That's just going to protect the sticker so it doesn't get torn up on the, the bending machine. So we'll put these in, tack them in, and after we paint it we'll put the sticker on. Okay guys, we got the bend wheels on now. And you just saw we put some small welds right there. And that's the position it's going to start operating from. And your de degree scale goes on there. And as you bend, it'll start to shoot out here. There's going to be a pointer later, I'll show you. And that'll tell you how far you're bending. So that should give you an idea how that goes together. Um, at this point, we take it, finish welding it, take it apart and paint it, and then start putting the decals on. But um, I've still got to weld everything up, and I'll show you some arc shots now. We're going to finish TIG welding this but you can use a MIG welder or whatever you have at home 
but uh, I'll show you a couple uh, TIG shots next and uh, we'll get it welded up. Okay, now we got the base plate welded to our little pieces of channel here. And there's cutouts in the plate for you. And we've got that welded on both sides. And now we're going to take care of, of these welds on the cylinder support. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to weld the underside and connect the channel together. Uh, and that's what we're coming up with next. Okay, we just laid a little weld in there. And on this section, we'll probably put maybe four of, four of them in here. We'll skip around and weld this up vertically over here. Right in that area, we'll run vertically, come out that way, and then we'll flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, everybody, um, I got it fully welded up. I'll show you where I placed my welds and how I went about getting it done. On the front piece, we've got a weld in here. Same on the back piece. Fillet weld right in there. These are our uprights where they come through. And between my welds on the outside, I fused the plate to our uprights. And it's, here's my weld you can see from the other side. And the same thing on the top. I just fused a plate to it. Here's our support for the ram. We've got a fillet weld in there and in there. I fused together the C channel on the outside on, a, on both sides. And here's our ram support again. And I've got a fillet weld there and in there. Okay, you can see I stitched along here for our uprights. And we welded in all the places that were cut out on the main plate. And then we came in here and went vertically on the upright to the to the front plate and ran one out here too. And it's the same on both sides. You can see I stitched it in and then came up vertically and out that way. And we're welded in here. And then right where the ram connects, we put another fillet right in there. And same thing on the other side and uh, where these supports come through uh, I just took and fused uh, the plate to the support right in there and there and everything should hold just fine so now we can assemble it and get the die in there and um, see if everything fits okay and then we'll take everything apart and give it some paint okay in your kit you're going to get a bolt that attaches the back of the ram to your brackets here and there'll be some washers in there too uh, this is just loose now because I'm taking everything apart very shortly and, and put some paint on this but that holds that end of the ram and then your little W block attaches to the first little bit of the ram after it steps up a little bit you can see it in there and uh, there's a little pinch bolt here and that's just going to take a 3 8 wrench and a 5 30 second uh, key here and tighten that down pinch that on there and that's what's going to hold your springs so next thing we're going to get in place is our bending wheels and uh, then we'll hook the ram up and uh, put our dies in there okay like I said earlier this is the extra heavy duty unit here the model 600 XHD and with that kit you're gonna get something that looks like this that's gonna go over your RAM and they give you the hardware for it you're gonna put your hardware through and we're just gonna put this finger tight because we're gonna take everything apart
okay and then they give you a pin and that's going to go through there so we're going to get that hooked up on the bending wheels now okay we just stuck our clamp lock in here and there's different holes here uh, depending on your center line radiuses so that's just hanging there now just to show you where it goes we've got our ram connected here with a pin and that block that I showed you before and this W block is going to retract your um, your cylinder take that small end that goes in the slot that they pre-cut in the plate for you that comes in the plate all pre-cut for you that's going to hook down in there and that fits right on there and same thing on the other side and um, we'll get the die in here next and uh, our, our pressure rollers will fit those in and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's finished okay now I got this bender set up with two inch dies six inch center line radius uh, it comes with a warning label on it not to extend your ram too far otherwise you can mess things up in there and when I got this kit I went ahead and got the um, the pressure rollers instead of just the U block there uh, less resistance there it'll just make bending easier got a bag of washers here and these are going to go inside where your die goes and that's going to center your die up there's there's a little more room than you need in here you know I'll move around like that so there's some washers that go in there and the dies are light they're aluminum so they're easy to put in and after it's all painted uh, we've got all the stickers that we're going to need to label our center line radiuses and stuff where our, where our clamp block goes so we'll put stickers over here and um, we'll just put those on after everything's painted there's a little pointer here and this will point at the at the degrees we'll put that on after it's painted and that's the basic uh, steps you need to put one of these guys together um, in the next video it'll be painted we'll have the dies in there and we'll put some air to that cylinder and make a practice bend with it so I'm going to end the video here and um, if you like the video you know hit the like button and um, subscribe to the channel and if there's anything else you'd like to see just send me a comment and I'll try and get it out there for you thanks for watching and I'll see you next time